And I look back at my life and I know that every single failure, struggle, pain that I ever went through, I am now grateful for those things because those things made me who I am today. And I can completely, completely understand that as you can hear that, you can say, well, yeah, yeah, sure. But until you get on the other side of it and you're able to look back and say, oh, now I get it. Now I know why I went through that with my parents growing up. It's because now I can be the best parent ever to my kids. Or, oh, now I, went, now I know why I went through that problem at school. It's so that now I can help others that are going through similar things. And you realize that these things that at the time were gigantic struggles for you, now are the reason why you can go do the things that you can do through God. The person that I am today is because of the struggles that I've gone through. And that when we go through struggles in our life, like the, the harder the struggle, the better the triumph, the more difficult the struggle, the bigger the blessing. And the problem is, is we always learn that in hindsight. And so that was my story. And I had, I had had, you know, a lot of success in my life. And then all of a sudden life happened to me. And I went through some, some, some very big failures and some massive pain and some massive struggles in my life. A failed marriage, a failed business, and ultimately found myself, just like you guys said, with no hope. You know, I, I, I sat there and I said, what, what, am I, you know, what am I gonna do with my life? And it wasn't until that moment that really God finally spoke to me and told me, you've been trying to seek out and search for significance everywhere else but through me. <laughs> and, and it was in that moment that I was able to take complete ownership of my life. I just completely changed as a person. Uh, and over that process, changed externally as well. Uh, but it started internally for me. Like I, I had to change myself. I had to become a different person in order to kind of take it to the next level. And, um, and it happened fast. Like that's, that, I think that's the biggest encouragement that I would like to give someone is that like, that was four and a half years ago. Um, I love that it was four and a half years ago because I can feel it. Like in this moment, I can feel what it felt like. And it was horrible, terrible, a lot of pain, a lot of struggle, but that now I'm grateful and know that it happened for me. Uh, like Matt said, not to me. If you look at climbing a mountain, and the growth that happens, the, the lessons learned in the climbing, there's so much to be grateful for before you ever reach the top. And so once you reach the top and say, yeah, I've, I've accomplished what I set out to accomplish. I, I hit that goal. What's next? You know, taking some time to be able to enjoy the fact that you just did what you, you know, ultimately wanted to do. But if you're grateful throughout the process, you don't have to take as much time as you would if you're just kind of head down, trucking along, okay, finally did it, now I can rest for a second, now I'll put my head back down. I think it really has to do with enjoying the process and being grateful uh, throughout the journey. Uh, because even in the most difficult of times, even in, in, in the struggles along the way, we still have so much to be grateful for. And it's, it's the most peace that you can have because, because you do love what is and, and you love the bad stuff too. Like you can only, you can only get to that place having gone through some stuff. Like I wish there was a college course that we could create where we just like destroy someone's life in 90 days right. and have them build it back up because I'd much rather them go through it at 18 than, than sure. at 38. Sure. Right. But hadn't, having gone through some struggles in my life, it gave me the appreciation. And when you get to that place, then all of a sudden the next time a big obstacle, a big struggle comes, you're like, oh yeah, at some point I'm going to look back on this moment and say the exact same Absolutely. thing. So it allows you to get through it with your head up. For sure. And for me, that's like, it's, it's, it's a hundred percent gratitude because you have to understand that you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now. And it is all your fault. Like it's, it's a sum total of all the decisions that you've made, good or bad. But I think a lot of it, to your point, yeah. a lot of what people try to do is they try to control the things that they can't control. Right. And that's where the frustration, that's where the depression, that's where the anxiety, because yeah. they're so focused on the things that are out of their control. 
and you can know that there is a reason for your struggle. There is a purpose in your pain. And that if you know that I'm going through this to become, to grow into the person that can handle what's next, that can be, become the person that's able to receive that blessing that's on the, on the other side of it, then that is the ultimate encouragement. The business failure, I'm the business person I am today because of that happening. Um, and so I, yeah, I'm extremely grateful for having gone through that pain. And so for the people watching this, the people that are listening, to know that we talk about patience, we talk about you know, all these things, but like it can happen quickly. Like when you make that decision to, to change and you make that decision and take ownership of your life, like it can happen quickly. It may not be overnight, but in a matter of a few months and in a matter of a few years, your life can be radically different, radically different. And so to me, that's the biggest encouragement to someone that's listening to this that may be in that struggle or maybe in that feeling of like hopelessness of like, I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing to know that they could look up a year from now and be in a radically different place. Uh, and for my life now, it's, I just, I, I want people to understand that. I want people to know that. And I want people to look at guys like us and, and say like, yeah, they're doing some cool stuff, but man, they're just like me. Like we, we have the ability to have messed up, failed, struggled in the exact same way, if not way worse than anybody watching this or listening to this. Uh, and we may in the future, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, but that as long as you take ownership of everything, then you can get yourself out of it. I think the overarching uh, idea is just gratitude always. So not just waiting until the when or waiting to accomplish the goal to be grateful, but to be grateful throughout the process. Mm -hmm.